Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Ann Arbor, Michigan, and you might be considering living in Carytown. Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm covering everything you need to know about living in Carytown. I'm talking about the real estate, things to do, places to shop, and everything in between. So if that interests you guys, stick around because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, breathing, the good, the bad, and the ugly about living right here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, then go ahead and hit that little bell and tap that subscribe button so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Ann Arbor. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back. My name is Eric Meldrum. I'm a team leader and licensed real estate agent with True Living Real Estate Group right here in Ann Arbor. And we're helping people just like you, 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 and you who are thinking about making a move to Ann Arbor, Michigan. And we wanna help you do just that. We're getting calls, texts, emails every single day. And we wanna help you guys make the smoothest move possible to Ann Arbor. So don't hesitate to give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email. I've even put my Zoom link down below so you can schedule a call with me or someone from my team and guys, we're here to make your move as smooth as possible. So can't wait to hear from you. And let's get into the content right now because you want to learn all about Carytown. So let's do it. All right. So as you can see, I got Carytown outlined right here in red. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see just how big Carytown is in comparison to the rest of downtown Ann Arbor. Um, I'm going to run my mouse just around the edges here of, of Ann Arbor downtown area. It really goes from like Depot Street over to the hospital the university is right here, this big gray area, and then all the way down to about Packard Street and then up through the Old West Side, back over to North Main and Depot Street. So it's a really large portion of downtown and Carytown is a little bit of history on it. It's dating back to about 1833. Um, it was part of the original village of Ann Arbor, if you can believe that. There's some really nice red brick roads downtown um, in Carytown that just give it that nice little uh, you know character and charm dating back into the early uh, 1900s. I absolutely just love it. So lots of stuff to do in Carytown and we're gonna go over a lot of that you know right now. I'm gonna go through you know, kind of what there is to do down there, the shopping, um, the parks and look at some real estate in, in Carytown as well, just to guys give you an understanding of what some of the price points are. If you're looking to be downtown, this is one viable option. If you guys wanna be close to the university, close to the hospital, um, but maybe don't want to you know, live outside of there. All right, so living in Carytown, you guys might be wondering what there is to do you know, on a regular basis. Um, well, you're part of the greater downtown area in, in Ann Arbor. so everything that's downtown you guys have access to it's all walkable and if you're living in Carytown specifically and you're working at you know the university it's about a 15 minute walk to the university about a 15 minute walk to the hospital you know which is which is right here as well um, if you're working at the uh, VA hospital in Ann Arbor it is not that walkable it's about a half hour half hour uh, walk if you're gonna you know make the trek over to the VA hospital. Um, if you got a bike, it's a really close distance. You're just right up Fuller Street and you can get right over there. Um, there's a lot of accessibility to parks down here as well. So you got a couple of parks in Carytown specifically. You have Wheeler Park, uh, which in North Main Park, which both of these are great parks. They have grills, they have playscapes for the kids and just wide open space for you guys to throw a Frisbee around you know, go play a game of soccer or, you know, throw a football. Um, so those parks are there in Carytown, super walkable. And then there's also a couple of parks along the Huron River, which is Broadway Park. And then on the other side of the river is Riverside Park. So you can get over to the other side if you just take Broadway Street over, there's a, there's a bridge. And then right up here, the Huron River, there is also Argo Park, which is a canoe and kayak rental. So you can actually rent canoes, kayaks, um, even tubes. 
And if you guys want to get a group of people together, you guys can tie off, raft down the Huron River. It's absolutely a blast. I know a lot of students do it. A lot of people you know, in the area love going to Argo Park and just kind of hanging out and doing the, the river run down the Huron River. It's a great time. So with the parks being so close um, and everything being so walkable, you know, there is a lot of places to go visit when you're downtown um, in, in Carytown. Carytown is actually home to the farmer's market. Now the farmer's market is probably, I mean, I've been to Brighton, uh, Dexter, Howell, and a lot of the surrounding farmer's markets. And I will say Ann Arbor is probably one of the most organized and well-run farmer's markets in the local area here. They have a pavilion. So even on the hottest days, you know, you are covered by shade and you can get, you guys can go down there, you know, shop for, do all your local shopping, really. I mean, you can get all your fruits and vegetables, everything you need at that farmer's market um, right here. And let me just zoom in so you guys can see where it's at in comparison. This is right in the heart of, of Carytown. Um, so this is really the epicenter. There's the Carytown market and shops right here. And then you have the farmer's market. This whole entire yellow area is all covered. You have this pavilion and it's all covered. So again, even on the hottest days, you don't have to worry about going down there and getting toasted, um, shopping for all your produce and, and things of, of that nature. So the farmer's markets every Saturday and Wednesday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So on Sunday, the farmer's market actually turns into the artisan's market. Same location right here uh, in Carytown, but instead of produce, you have locally made things by local artists. Um, you can find cutting boards down there. You can find quilts. You can find um, little knickknacks and things, anything clay, you know, art that people are making. Um, the wide range of things that, you know, people home make and bring down there to sell. It's really cool. And we found some pretty cool things, you know, for gifts for family, gifts even for you guys as clients, you know, who are moving to um, Ann Arbor. We like to, you know, go find local things that kind of speak to us. And then based on your personality, we like to gift you guys, you know, something cool at closing when you guys close on that home here in Ann Arbor. So if you guys are here on a Sunday visiting, definitely check out the artisan's market and Saturday for sure, check out the farmer's market. So one of the biggest things I get asked when people are moving downtown Ann Arbor is, do I have to go outside to get my, my groceries or is there a grocery store downtown Ann Arbor? And the answer is yes. If you're living in Carytown or anywhere downtown Ann Arbor, you have a couple different options. Um, along with the farmer's market, being able to buy fresh produce and things like that, you have the Arbor or the uh, Carytown market, which is the Carytown market and shops. Um, they have a, a, a grocery store in there called Sparrows. They have everything you need. I mean, I when I was working downtown Ann Arbor, I would literally go here for lunch. I could pick up prepackaged, you know, lunch items and do all my grocery shopping and be just fine. So again, you have the farmer's market and sparrows. All right, so when you're getting hungry in Carytown, where do you go to eat? And I'm gonna start with a restaurant that is really famous here in Ann Arbor. It's called Zingerman's. And they have a couple of different locations, a roadhouse, but downtown in Carytown, this is the original location. Um, what makes Zingerman so special is it's been here for a while, but more importantly, the, the business itself is raved about by all the employees and people who work and live in this community as one of the best places to work. Now, what makes it so special to work there? Well, they wrote a whole entire book about how they manage their company and some of the culture that they bring into it. But you know, when we go in there and we see the smiles on these employees' faces, I mean, they actually care. Like they truly are not putting a, just a fake smile on. Like they treat their employees really good and it shows in their quality products and the recipes that they have and just the overall ambiance that you get when you go into this place. It's truly an experience. And if you're visiting, I would highly recommend you go check out Zingerman's or they even have ordering online. You can get cakes and all the baked goods shipped anywhere in the United States. I know a lot of people who end up uh, you know, going to University of Michigan and then moving moving away, they miss Zingerman, so they're ordering for special occasions. They're flying cakes out to, to California. It's gonna cost you a couple hundred bucks uh, because the cakes are expensive, but trust me, it's well worth it and you're gonna wanna check it out. All right, so a couple other places you're gonna wanna check out when eating in Carytown is the Gandy Dancer. This is more of an upscale restaurant. You have seafood. Um, you can take your date night there, your bride, your girlfriend. Trust me, you're gonna impress them with this, this restaurant here. 
Plus it's overlooking the river and you got some great scenery there. Um, so that's a, definitely a go-to place. And it's one of the oldest buildings here in, um, in the Carytown area. You guys will see it from the outside, but it's a really cool building and it's right across from the train tracks as well. And then there's also right up the street from that is Casey's Tavern. This is just a local pub. Um, they definitely get cold drinks, you know, cold beer. The food is bar food. So I wouldn't expect anything absolutely crazy, you know, from it, but it's really good, really good food if you're in the mood for just a laid back restaurant. And then right up the street from that, you have um, Miss Kim's, which is a, a Korean restaurant. They have some outdoor seating, a little bit of seating inside. Um, but mainly you can get a takeout from here. It's really good if you're in the mood for flavor and which I'm always in the mood for flavor, like anything seasoned, anything, you know, with, uh, with flavor in it, I am all about it. So Korean is definitely my jam. And then there's eat carry town, uh, right here. So this, this restaurant is all sourced locally, um, local produce, local meats, like all that stuff. Um, and it's right here and in the center here, there is a little, there's a little eatery where you can sit outside um, and it's right in the middle of these two buildings. It's a great little, little area to kind of grab a quick bite to eat if you're going out for lunch or dinner. And then right up the road from that, you have um, Detroit Street, Detroit Street Filling Station. I can't even say that. Detroit Street Filling Station. Um, this one is definitely a go-to as well. Um, all of their produce and stuff is sourced locally and it's just a really good quality restaurant and it's got more of a vintage feel to it. When you're sitting out here on the patio, you're overlooking uh, Detroit Street, which is a red brick road. So you get that little feel of, of history and the vintage restaurant inside. Um, it's really cool. So those restaurants are definitely go to. And now let's talk about what you guys can expect from a real estate perspective down here. All right, so you guys wanna know what some of the real estate is like here in Carytown. Well, as of today, when I'm shooting this video, there is zero properties for sale in Carytown. There's a couple on the outskirts, but I'll go into a couple properties that are pending so you guys can see specifically what some of these homes look like. Carytown has a lot of history. Um, the homes are older. There is single family homes, condos, um, multifamily and then apartment complexes down there as well. So whatever you're looking for, Carytown has it. Um, the price point that you're going to get into when you start looking for single family homes in Carytown is going to be around, you know, anywhere from 400 on up. Um, condos are going to be about the same, anywhere from 350 to 400 on up, and they can go into the millions. I'll show you a few of those here in a second. Um, but these are two properties that are under contract. This is a single family home. This one is uh, listed for basically 600. It's a one bedroom, one bath, if you can believe that, 980 square feet. Um, really cool place. It's got a nice outside area, garden, nice yard. Um, so a little bit of cool you know, yard for the downtown area. That's not very common is to get a big yard or something like that when you're, when you're living in Carytown specifically. Um, and then you also have condos. This is a newer development that's gonna be coming on. Um, it's called the Garnet. These are uh, condos in starting at, you know, around the 600s on up. These, here's some renderings of what this place looks like. And then you also have, um, this place was cool. I was actually watching this one for a while to see if this was gonna sell. This was a mixed use space. This had commercial and residential, um, listed for 2.75, three bedroom, six baths, over 5,000 square feet. The woodwork in here is amazing um, as an open fireplace, open floor concept, double range oven and stovetop, granite countertops. Um, you can see from the pictures, they've just done a great job, you know, attention to detail on making these updates. So there is, um, you know, definitely, as I keep saying in a lot of these videos, if you're gonna do projects to your home, you definitely wanna make sure they're quality because the turnover for these homes in Ann Arbor, people are looking at these and if you're your home is less desirable than the other person's, even though this is a is a great location and the resale value is always gonna be there, you're not gonna get the value for the update. So you definitely wanna make sure you hire a good local company that knows the Ann Arbor market and can recommend the updates to make to the home. All right, a couple of places surrounding Carytown, uh, just on the other side of Main Street, there's some condo developments. And these are gonna be anywhere from the 400s on up to 1.7, 1.8 million. Um, this condo is for sale in the Kingsley building for 1.5. 
Uh, this is a great location uh, to, you know, Carytown and just the downtown area, town living. Um, there's a lot of houses, but as some of these houses sell, their developers are taking two or three lots, turning them into condo complexes or condo high rises, if you will. And there's a height limit in Ann Arbor. You can't really call it a high rise. It's typically about six to seven stories. Um, but these places are pretty cool. You know, here's another one. You know, this is on First Street. Um, again, these are newly, newly built. So this one is listed for, um, this is a three bedroom, two bath. This one's 925,000, um, 1780 square feet. And you can kind of get the idea from the outside. Nice window space. So we've definitely seen an explosion in the condo developments in downtown Ann Arbor in the past couple of years. All of these condos that you're seeing here, the 1.1 and the 1.5, these are the top level of the condos. And what happens is when they, but developers build these, they release the condos in floor levels. So they'll release one model at each floor level. And depending on how quickly they sell out, then they'll release another one. So if you do see a condo development come up and you have questions about it, always feel free to reach out. I wanna be the best resource for you when moving to Ann Arbor. And these condos, you know, on the, on the lower levels are gonna be a little bit cheaper when they do hit the market. So. Definitely get in early. I've seen them go for four to five hundred thousand, and then the third one that they release, it's going to go for six hundred thousand. And that's what builders and developers do: is when they release these properties, the prices are going to keep going up as they see how quickly these sell. So again, feel free to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you guys make a smooth move to Ann Arbor. So that is Carytown in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed that. There's a lot of things going on in Carytown, and if I missed anything please drop it in the comments below so I can either hit on that on my next video or do a separate video on that all together. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, tap that little bell so you're notified and the first to learn about the current market right here in Ann Arbor. And if you guys are thinking about relocating, buying an investment property, or you just wanna know more about the Ann Arbor market here, go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you guys make a smooth move to Ann Arbor. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Peace.